everything. Everything, both rooms, <clears throat> completely emptied. This bedroom had all my clothes in it, in the closet. She left one shirt, on purpose probably. All the drawers are empty. All my underwear, my socks, everything, my shirts, everything, all my nice clothes, all my shoes, my dress shoes that were here. For every man, there's a woman. And for every dummy, there's a dummy. <laughs> Hey, you! It's your boy, I'm Ghetto Matthew, and I'm back with China. China. Brian. Brian. So, China and Brian. So, China and Brian, y'all a couple? Yeah. Okay, come here, come here, come here. How long have been together? Like two years. Like two years. Okay, y'all trust each other, right? Of course. Play rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> Do it again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. There you go. You won. That means you go first. You got a homeboy? Uh, yeah, I got a homeboy. Uh, you tell him everything, right? Of course, yeah. Of okay, course. okay. We're going to need you to call your homeboy, and all you got to do is say, hey, yo, my boy, guess who I'm with right now? That's all you got to do. <laughs> Bet. Oh, all right, buddy. <laughs> You're trying to get me in trouble, man. Hold on. Just call him mobile. No FaceTime. No FaceTime. No FaceTime. No. Hey, what up, bro? Yo. 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 Guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm with right now? Hey, what? Guess. I have no idea. <laughs> just, just, that, just pick any guess. Any guess. Who do you think I'm with? China? Wait. China. Uh, <laughs> now you, you just second. Okay. All right. So we had to switch locations. It was getting hot. The security was bothering us. You ready? So what's your name again? Brian. Okay. 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 Let's do it. Let's do it. Go ahead and call your sis. Let's. <laughs> Hey, what you saying? Hey, dude, what's up? Guess who I'm with right now? Christian. Christian. Yo. Don't play with me. Who the fuck is Christian? Listen to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo. Focus on you, big bro. What the f Who's that? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. No. Who's your name? What's your name? Brian, man. Say, this is Christian you're talking about. Yo. Damn, I do look hurt too, man. God damn, son. That's crazy. <laughs> look at his face, though. Focus on you, big. I do shock. <laughs> like, what? Nah, hold on, hold on. We gotta see my man's face. <laughs> Hello? Hey, what you saying? Hey, what's up? Guess who I with right now? You smiling and shit? Trisha. Like, what, bitch? What? Don't play with me. Who the fuck is Christian? Listen to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Focus on you, big bro. What the f Who's that? Nah, nah, nah. Okay. Who's, no. Who's that? What's your name? Brian. Say, this is what you You forget I was with Brian? Um, be smart. I, be smart. Damn, be smart. Like, like, oh. <laughs> I don't speak up. You know what? I call you back. You want to? <laughs> who, who is that, though? Who is that? I don't even know who that is. I don't know who that is. Damn. No, appreciate it. No, no, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I... Nah, bro. That's cold, though, because... Man, listen, man. <laughs> Fellas, and this is why you all got to pay attention to the science, man. Pay attention to the type of chicks that your girl hang with. Birds of a feather flock together. If a homegirl's our thoughts, bro, she's a thought too. No, her homegirl said this shit like mad casual. Oh, oh, Tristan. So Tristan been hitting that. He's still hitting that. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, Brian is just like the... Well, Brian, he's like the trick, the provider. He's, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's a lame. He don't really matter. But that's a boyfriend. You see what I'm saying? I, this is just unfortunate, man. This is why, fellas, you gotta pay attention to your, uh, to the signs, man. Observe your girl. Fuck the shit that she sent out of her mouth. Pay attention to her actions, man. Because you could be in a situation and like in a whole relationship and you could just be the side dude but you think that you're in a relationship with her but you're just the side dude you don't even matter a home girl like if you ask the home girl yo who is you know what i'm saying like shorty with the first dude that she say that's the dude that's hitting it the most and that's the dude that matters that's that's crazy man but fellas in a situation like this man learn from it you know what i'm saying like he should be thankful that his girl got exposed you know what i'm saying he should be very thankful for that and he don't need to waste his time with her anymore and no some just focus on you man learn, like learn from these situations you know what i'm saying that's the key like you have to learn from these type of situations yes it's gonna hurt you but pain is gain you know what i'm saying now you can now you can navigate through life and have some awareness of female nature because that's very important for a man. You'll have to be aware of female nature. Don't be in a relationship being naive and thinking, oh, she's a good girl. Oh, she's not going to cheat on me and things like that. All I'm saying is just pay attention to your girl. You know what I'm saying? Don't be in a, in a relationship and you don't even matter to her. The, uh, the the next guy do. So it is what it is, man. This is crazy right here, though. What to do if your girlfriend cheats on you, okay? This is going to be a really deep video, so I need you guys to, you know, pay attention and listen up. If your girlfriend cheats on you, break up with her. But, like, I'm, I'm very I'm cool with my shit, mine. Don't worry. What the fuck? I'm cool with my shit. I'm cool with my shit. I'm cool with my shit. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? You can be the I'm gonna walk away from you because you have, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to curse me and shit. So, I'm gonna I'm I'm take that loss. But uh, you still find folks. And have a nice day. I hope you don't talk on the boat. Wow, no, this is crazy right here. Now, uh, shouts to do though, like, you know what I'm saying? I gotta respect his confidence, you know what I'm saying? As a man, if, if you see a girl that you like, you should have the confidence in yourself to shoot your shot. Now, the thing about chicks like her and some chicks out there, it's okay to clown the dudes that they don't like. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to sit there and make fun of the dudes that they don't like her and her homegirl. And her homegirl look like she needs to hit the gym. You know what I'm saying? But she's sitting there eating, smacking her face, and laughing at dude. Cool, whatever. Now, if a man was to do the same thing to a chick like this, it will be an uproar. Oh, he's an asshole. Oh, oh, he's a dickhead, right? But when a chick do shit like this and think it's funny, it's okay. See, that's why as men, we got to have tough skin, all right? We got to have tough skin and we got to be able to handle uh, rejection and we got to be able to deal with chicks like this. It comes, it comes with the game. But the game is, like I said, but the game is pretty messed up because if a guy was to do the same thing, it will crush a woman in half. It will crush her feelings. It will crush her emotions. It will, it will make her insecure as a person. But why do chicks think, think it's okay to do it to a man? That's my thing. If, if you're not into a person, be respectable. Be respectable or reject them respectably. You see what I'm saying? But then when you're trying to clown a person, that ain't cool, man. And it's not cool because if a man was to do it to you, you'll be crying. That's my thing. You see what I'm saying? If a man was to do the same thing to this same chick right here, she will be crying. She will be devastated and shit. But the thing about life is this. Karma is real. Karma is real. So the fact that she's like making like fun of this dude i'm pretty sure some dude she will re she will come across will dog out that's how life works what you put out is what you're gonna get back 
You know what I'm saying? That's why the best thing to do is live life righteously. You know what I'm saying? Put positive energy out there so positive energy will come back to you. But when you try to clown people and things like that, nothing good nothing good will like come back to you. You know what I'm saying? Nothing good. This might uh this chick might end up single and lonely for the rest of her life just by doing some dumb shit like this. So people be wise out there. That's just the bottom line. All right? And you know what I'm saying? The fruits of y'all labor. So y'all feeling like y'all don't need a man for nothing. But what what qualities did a man have before that? Because at the end of the day, like, he talked about the money aspect. But other than that, like... Okay, let's 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 what, get into it. Let's get into it. <laughs> what, what other things Yo, do what you... what the fuck? What so, do you bring me, to the table? I'm about to give you about four or five things that men bring to the table. Number one, logical thinking. Hell no. Nah. Let, let, let me finish. <laughs> the majority of women, their decision making is based off of emotion. And you need a man to come in to give you logical, factual decision making. That's, yeah, that's number one. Number two, being a, being a protector to your children and being a father to your children. Because it is statistically and factually proven, proven that children that grow up in a two-parent household perform better than growing up in a household with just a mother. That's number two. Facts. Number three, emotional and emotional intelligence and emotional support. Women most definitely need emotional support from men. Hell yeah. Facts. So and, that, and that's something that you can't pay for. You can't pay for emotional support from a man. A man must truly uh, like or love you or genuinely care for you to give you emotional support and emotional Talk intelligence. Legs, right. Sure. And point number four, what a man can bring to you is leadership. 99% of women need leadership Facts. because the majority of the time, if you lead a woman to her own devices, she will self-destruct. Why? Because her decision making is based off of emotion and untamed emotion is the enemy of high performance. You cannot perform at a high level when you're emotional. And the majority of time, women are emotional. So you need a man to come in and give you some logical thinking. So I that, feel like men are more emotional than females. I mean, I, I can look at you and tell you stupid in a motherfucker. Everything you just said about females is totally false. What up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. Now, look, we got a crazy one today, I promise. But before we jump into the video, you all already know, STC, support the content, like and subscribe to the channel. If you guys appreciate the content, show a brother some love, like and subscribe. It's free of charge. It's not going to cost you guys anything, all right? Now, listen to this, though. So the title of the video that we're going to do a reaction to today is titled, A Man Looking for Love in Mexico Got Robbed by His Girlfriend After going home to visit San Diego. Crazy, right? So this dude felt like, you know, he went overseas and he found love. He found him a wife. Only to realize that she only saw him as a come up. It happens like that a lot, man. It happens like that a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's every time you go overseas to, you know what I'm saying, those type of countries, these chicks look at you like you're a bank account, like you're a come up. You know what I'm saying? You got to think, man. When you live in those countries, people over there is like really, like really hungry. Like, they, you know what I'm saying? They really out there hungry for real. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if they look at you like food, it is what it is, man. They're going to eat that food, man. So it is what it is. Um, so with no further ado, let's jump right into the video. This is where I live in Tijuana, Mexico. Well, this is where I've lived for 11 months. And I left for, I lived with my girlfriend for about almost 11 months. I went to San Diego to visit with my parents, my mom and my sister for uh, one week. I was gone for one week visiting them. My girlfriend was still here at the apartment for the week that I was gone. Yo, why he keeps saying his girlfriend, dude, Get a clue. That that wasn't your girlfriend, dog. You know what I'm saying? That was just a chick who saw you as a lick. That was not your girlfriend, man. And when I come back today, which is Wednesday, the entire apartment is cleaned out. God damn. All the she took, she took everything. everything, yo. Everything, both rooms, <clears throat> completely emptied. 
This bedroom had all my clothes in it in the closet. She left one shirt. Yo, she bogus. All the drawers are empty. All Damn. my underwear, my socks, everything, my shirts, everything, all my nice clothes, all my shoes. God. My dress shoes. Damn. The, the curtains. She took the curtains. What? Nah, man. Nah, 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 never. She took the curtains too? She left this man with one shirt. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Everything. The bed. My bed. This is where the... Nah, that's crazy right there. So she took her time and moved. Damn, she down there moved out. Like, she moved out and took everything out this man crib. This man crib is empty. It's like he just moved in the crib. Unbelievable, man. She took... Oh, wow. She cleaned out the fridge. <laughs> Yo, nah, man. Nah, man. Nah, that's wild right there, man. Nah, that's wild, man. Listen... Look, the bottom line is this, man, fellas. All you dudes out there, you know what I'm saying, who believe in, in going overseas to find love, do your own thing, whatever. Just understand that proceed with precaution, man. Proceed with precaution out there because these chicks be looking at y'all like, come up. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all some licks to them. And if they got to do you win, shit. Now... This guy, right, his girlfriend, she probably was playing the role. She probably was so nice to him. She probably was doing everything that he says. Like, yo, baby, uh, get me a glass of water. See, see, see. She go get the water, you know what I'm saying? She was, she, she was pretty much doing everything that he said. So in his mind, wow, I got me a good girl. I could trust her. I could trust her. So this dude left. Went back to the States. And she was like, she called up all, all the people. Was like, yo, he just left. It's time to make the move. Because she probably been waiting for him to, to leave so she could call up like a like people's and clean out the crib. God damn, son. Listen, man, fellas, man. The bottom line is this, bro. If you can't trust chicks in the States, don't go overseas and think you could trust chicks overseas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you can't trust the chicks where you at, don't go to a different place and think you could trust them. You know what I'm saying? Leaving, damn, son. I mean, this dude was mad comfortable, though. She was, she got this dude mad comfortable, mad comfy. And then she hit him where it hurts. You know what I'm saying? But it could have been worse. You know what I'm saying? It could have been worse because trust me, if she could have, like, steal a crib, she would have steal a crib, too. So... You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Let this be a learning lesson, not only to him, to most of you dudes out there who want to find love, love overseas. You know what I'm saying? Just, I mean, nothing is wrong with that if that's what you believe in, man. But just uh, proceed with 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 a precaution, man. Don't be so comfortable, um, and don't be so naive. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about these chicks, fam, these chicks will make you feel like they are good girls. They're good at that. They're good at that, bro. You know what I'm saying? They will be nice to you. And one thing about women, fellas, if a chick is just nice to you 24-7, something is up with her. She got a motive. And you got to figure out what that motive is. If a chick is nice to you that's 24, she just super fucking nice. That's nice. Everything about it is just, yes, yes, see, see. Mm -mm, don't trust that. Don't trust that, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like... A chick should give you some type of pushback. It's not a lot, but some type of pushback because she a human being. You know what I'm saying? No human being is just nice like 24-7. So just uh, be careful when it comes to that. And don't let your guard down when it comes to dealing with chicks overseas, fam. That's the most I could say.